A young man murdered more than eight years later. His killer is still on the loose, and his parents won't let this case, case go. Thanks to their persistence, the FBI is now involved. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo talked to the victim's mother and father. Yes, we are still crying about Kevin. For the Harris family, there is a pain worse than losing a child. It's the heartache that deepens by time and no answers. Eight and a half years after their son, Kevin Robert Harris, was murdered and still no arrests. Well, when you give birth to an angel, and someone comes and takes his life away for no reason, it's very hard to cope with every day. Every anniversary of his death, his parents hold a vigil. Every year, our newsroom gets a call. That nonstop advocacy prompted the Englewood police to go to the FBI for help two years ago. The bureau took on the case. Not in one interview has anyone said a negative thing about Kevin Harris. And that is unique. And that, too, makes it a little bit complicated in identifying the motive. But the FBI says the forensic evidence now reveals there was more than one shooter. Harris, just 21 at the time, was already a successful music producer, selling a track to Ice Cube. He was driving to a recording session at 118th and Crenshaw when he was killed. And to know that I'll never see grandchildren or great-grandchildren or see him become a man, it really hurts. The family says that hurt can only be diminished by finding Harris's killers. The FBI believes they're very close to solving the case. If you have any information, there's now a $50,000 reward. At FBI headquarters, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.